I own one property free and clear. I want to buy more. What should I do? What is happening, YouTube? Thank you for watching Mentorship Monday. Quick shout out to Laura, who is our Mentorship Monday question, who sent her question in to help me at DeRosaGroup.com. Help me at DeRosaGroup.com. That's where you guys want to send your questions. And Laura did it. And Laura is awesome. So Laura's question is, hey, Matt, I enjoy your YouTube channel and have a question. Thank you, Laura. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm looking to invest in my first three to four unit deal. All right. Look at you. Um, I have one deal paid off valued at 50K. All right. Even better, Laura. Uh, new deal is selling for 55K and needs 30K of rehab. So Laura's looking at a deal that needs 85,000 in reno, uh, in, in purchase and reno, probably factor in, say, another, to be super conservative, another 10,000 in, um, in closing costs and maybe carrying costs if she's going to uh, borrow with interest, right? So we need to locate 95K for this deal for Laura. Okay. Um, new deal has three units in one building and one small house on the property already rented for four and a quarter. So probably one tax parcel. It's got a little house. People call it an outbuilding or an accessory building or something like that or an accessory apartment. And there's a three family next door to it. Okay. Um, and somehow or another, Laura has been able to locate this deal um, for 55000 And she's going to do the whole deal for thirty. And then the little house is already rented for four and a quarter. So love this deal so far is that four and a quarter is would probably carry the debt service, give or take, because uh, the money Laura is going to borrow for the uh, deal of all the, the 85 to 95,000 um, is going to have an interest payment to it. And so because of that, um, Laura is able to pay that interest payment maybe with the 425, depending on how good and reliable that tenant is. So when or not I can use leverage or some sort of equity from the first deal I own to do the next deal. So I bought... And I want to know, and Laura did the sale part of the world she's in, um, but Laura is getting great deals where she is. Let's just say that. Um, they, you may not, maybe you don't want us to know because of how good your deals are, I guess. I don't know. Um, the first deal I own, I bought for $12,000, put in twenty grand in renovations, and it's now valued at fifty k. Good for you, man. Good for you, Laura. Um, I could be higher. I have no appraisal. Okay. So here's what you should do, Laura. Great opportunity. Great oppor I wish I had a whiteboard. I should like put like a glass whiteboard here so I could write this up for you guys. But um, you, you got your one deal free and clear, um, but you need 85 grand. So here's the thing. You're not going to get all of the money you need for deal two for this four family you got lined up. It's really, it's a three plus one, but that's a four family. So um, you need to uh, refinance the one that you have. Um, you can do a home equity line, approach a small community bank around that property, like a small bank or a credit union or something like that. That's a small institution around that property you own free and clear. Okay. And then you want to tell them you want either a home equity line, like a line of credit on the property, or it's just straight refi. You're going to have to get it appraised. And then they're going to come in and they're going to give you some money on the property. I predict that if it values at 50K, like you're thinking that it might, um, you're going to get a loan for around 30,000 bucks, which means you're going to have to come up with another 50 grand for the other property. Okay. So options on the other property. Um, I mean, you, uh, you have to buy it for 50. So you need a bunch more money for reno and everything else. So maybe get the owner of that property. If it's not bank owned, get the owner of that property to hold a small, a small mortgage for you until you can get it renovated. Um, that's one option. Maybe bring in an investor. Um, you know, uh, so bring in an investor. Maybe you get them to hold a mortgage, or consider using a hard money lender uh, to lend you the short term money to buy and renovate. Um, because if you're bringing 30k from the refi on the other property or from the home equity line on the other property, that equation should be enough equity or enough cash from something else coming in for you to be able to buy the property under a purchase mortgage, um, a short term purchase mortgage with a, you know, private equity lender. A private lender that you may be able to locate and an equity person to invest in the property with you. I don't like that one. The That's my least favorite one because you have to give away ownership to them and then or a hard money lender or fourth, getting the owner of the property to hold paper for you. Four different ways you could finance the deal, but you got to get a, you got to get financing first on the one that you own free and clear. <sighs> You know, again, needed a whiteboard on that one, but but still good. I love talking through deals with people. So, um, so good stuff. There you go, Laura. Congratulations on your deal. You guys, you I'm talking to. You send your questions to help me at derosagroup.com, and I'll answer them right here on the YouTube channel. And check out our Facebook page. And uh, be sure to like and share this video for those of you guys that like what we do. Go ahead and subscribe and check us out. So cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great and profitable week.